so i have a lot to unbox today but i'm going to break it into two videos because there is a lot and i feel like the other one would be better as one video but i do have two builder bears to unbox for this one. Oh, okay i think i'm gonna start with this one so yes this one doesn't come in a box this time because this one didn't come directly from builder bear now i know i said i weren't gonna get any more hello kitties right i know i said that i did say that but I think I also said like uninspired Hello Kitties or something like that. This is one of the retro ones, like 2010 times, like around that time. And I like these old Hello Kitties. I like the gingerbread one and I like this one. But usually these old ones don't have the bows on them and I kind of would want the bow on them. And they're also usually a lot of money. And this one wasn't and it had the bow. So I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally the day after something like i'm not buying one just because it's got a red bow but this one isn't just the red this isn't hasn't just got a different bow this one is like a different one i'm gonna open it now if you like my videos make sure you give me a like comment or subscribe um let's crack into it i hope she is as good as she looked on the ebay listing oh she's upside down she's breech oh i got stickers this seller's definitely getting a good review <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so they included some Hello Kitty stickers. We'll have a look through those as well. Thank you for your purchase. Quite a cute little card. It's got a little cut out of a teddy bear. It's on theme. Let's open these stickers. Okay, so we got, oh, they're like vinyl ones as well. So we've got a Hello Kitty with an umbrella, a Christmas Hello Kitty with a candy cane, and little winter clothes. <gasps> I got a Kurumi. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is an adorable sinner. Kropi, Tuxedo Sam, Bads Marie, and my Melody with a Masquerade Mask. So they were really cute and an absolute surprise. I had no idea they were coming. Okay, now for the kitty. Oh, I put Choco Cat up finally. He's taken a spot of one of the other Hello Kitties. And it's cool because he like blends in with the Hello Kitties because he's a cat. But I also got a new rack over that side, which is where the other Hello Kitty is that I moved. Because eventually I'll move all the Hello Kitties over into this new rack. Because it's a four-tiered rack rather than a three-tiered rack for like these ones. And then I'll be putting like Kiki and Lala in here and the Christmas ones. I hope they don't keep releasing more though. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really lucked out with this. I guess the sellers wanted a quick sell because she was a really good price. Oh, she feels nice. So I got the oh, pink waffle Hello Kitty. I'm guessing this isn't... Oh, <gasps> it's a real one. I thought... Oh, no, they've stitched it on, smart. Like, I thought this would be, like, a custom bow that they'd made to put on it. But no, it's actually the original Build-A-Bear bow. I really lucked out with this. I don't know if you can see it. But it does say Build-A-Bear on the bow. So, let's stick that back on. The bow isn't in good quality, but it's, like, a silky bow. Like, I, I didn't expect any of this to be as in good quality as it is. Oh, it's not even sewn on. It's, um... What do you call it? When, when when you got tags on things, new tags and got that little bit of plastic in it, they've, they've done that to it to make sure it stays on, which I think I might just leave on there because I don't want to lose the bow. So it should be on display, but still things can lose, like they can fall off. Oh my God, she's so cute. I love this Hello Kitty. You see, this, this, if they'd released this for Christmas or something like this, I'd have been all for that Hello Kitty that they released, the Christmas one. But a red bow, just a red bow. Even the My Melody has a bit of... um mistletoe on it but someone said like oh why is no one upset about the my melody just being red but the thing is we've only had one my melody we've had six hello kitties and just changing the bow it's not enough and yeah it might be og colors but then i should have released her first maybe <laughs> she's not a christmas one that's my main, my main problem and i already have a christmas hello kitty from last year so this is the new hello kitty i have got so on this one we have a little love heart and it's like silky material and embroidered with hello kitty they are better quality from back in the day, aren't they? Definitely better quality. And people moan about the knickers that the new Hello Kitties have on. I must say, she is really, really nice. I do like her. I think I'm going to give her a wash, though. I normally give my pre-owned bears a wash. I'm going to give her a little clean-up. She feels really nice. I did not think she'd be this good quality. I don't know if I can get you a close-up. There's her little butt tag. It's an older one. Yeah, she's really good. I like she's a bit flopsy as well. Because a lot of my others are kind of a little bit overstuffed. They're really firm. I like that she's a little bit flopsy. Oh, she's really cute. 
She's got a hard plastic nose. What are the others that like? Yeah, they've got hard plastic noses and eyes too. Why does this one look so much better quality? <laughs> Even though they're new, she actually looks like... They put more effort into them, I guess, in the older days. Not that I don't love my new ones. But this Hello Kitty, low-key, I think she might be my... F no. The 50th anniversary is my favourite. And I like the tan one, because she's tan. But this one, she is right up there with those two. And, like, she feels nice. She's, like, snuggly. <laughs> so, very happy with this one. Very, very happy. Well worth it. Would have paid more for it. Because <laughs> she really... She was, like, the price of a regular Builder Bear, like, now. So, I'm like... In fact, cheaper. Because if you were to just buy one uh builder bear actually no wait how much are the builder bears now they're like 36 pound so i had to go double check my information to make sure i wasn't saying lies <laughs> but most of the hello kitties seem to be 32 pounds whereas the 50th anniversary one she is 34 but all the other sanrio characters are 34 pounds plus shipping this one that i got was 31 pound 30 with free shipping she was cheaper she was cheaper period she was cheaper, period. But, like, I was, th I was thinking, oh, if they're £26 with shipping, that would mean to buy just a Hello Kitty on her own from Builder Bear plus shipping would be more than her. But if I think the, the Builder Bears are £36 now, aren't they? She was cheaper than her even just by the price tag. So, I got a bargain! I'm really, really happy with this. Like, I could not have done better. If I can ever find the gingerbread one with a bow, I will be getting that one too. Because, like, I really love the gingerbread one. But it, I really want it to have the bow. I really do want it to have the bow. Or just a fake bow that someone's, like, you know, a custom one. As long as it has a bow on it, I'm good. So let's sit my girl down. Oh, you can't see her. Sit my girl down. <laughs> there she is. Okay, and now we have a new Builder Bear. Now, I was talking to Amber Kacharian last night. And talking about builder bears because she also likes builder bears and her builder bears are named after harry potter characters and it kind of made me feel like i should have a harry potter named builder bear although i'm not a fan of jk anymore but i just like the idea of having a one named after harry potter and this builder bear is da -da -da -da! Mothman! <laughs> and when I told her that I was getting Mothman, well, that I already had him, I just needed to unbox him. She was saying about, like, have you seen the movie he's based on? It's like her favourite horror movie. I said, no, wait. Oh, his wings come off. That's all that was. I thought there was a hole in him. I was like, oh. She said that she loves Mothman. And so I decided to call this one Metal. Because I said to her, like, I kind of want to call one Moaning Myrtle now. And she feels like I should call the Yeti Myrtle. But no, I want to call this one. Because, like, she likes the Harry Potter ones. Like, Harry Potter names for her Builder Bears. And Mothman is, like, her favourite horror movie. So I kind of just want to have this one be named Myrtle. So I have Moth Woman, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, Mothman Myrtle is what my one is going to be called. So here she is. Even though he's Mothman. But, you know, details, details. But, um, yeah, I when I got him out a second ago, I thought that there was a hole in his arm. But it isn't. It's just that his wings are detachable. I did not know that about him. I do have the t-shirt come in. I couldn't buy it on the day. But my friend actually picked up a second Mothman in case I couldn't get him. But I did get him. But she also bought a second t-shirt two so um i don't need the second mothman but i was happy she picked up the extra t-shirt so she's gonna she was gonna sell the mothman on ebay but it looks like amber actually might buy the mothman off of my friend if they've already sold out in america i don't know if the mothman is, is still available there i know they sell out really quick he sold out in like 24 hours in england so i don't know if mothman is still available in america but amber's gonna check and if he's not she might just buy the mothman off of my friend but i'm gonna have the t-shirt the one that says the man the moth the legend so i will have the t-shirt for him i actually did buy the outfit today for the yeti so uh he's also gonna have his little um fair isle dungarees i believe that's what they're called so mothman i remember when he first came out in america some people were having some issues with their mothman in terms of quality and it was something that had made me maybe second guess a little bit whether i was gonna get the mothman or not but i feel like i've been quite lucky lately like the ones i've chosen like the gargoyle was great the yeti was great the cookie barrow was great and i was like i do really want the mothman so i took the chance and he feels 
great <laughs> he feels lovely so really happy with him i'm glad whatever quality issues some people had before or the problem they had of him isn't affecting me in the same way uh, or mine doesn't have those issues he is super cute i love him is his mouth silver it looks really silver on camera it is it's silver it actually looks more prominent on camera than it does in real life it's like a bit more hidden by the plush in my own vision but i think because the light is shining in on him on his mouth it's making it look really really noticeable on camera which is good especially as i have much light today but yeah he feels really good his wings are actually really nice they're soft i thought they'd be harder but no the wings are quite soft they're nice i like how they feel very cuddly he's a very cuddly bab he's got a little red paw print which um well bab print that goes well with the theme of his eyes being red really really cute i'm happy with this and then i think tonight i'm gonna wait i'm guessing that's normal i'm guessing that's how it's supposed to be tonight as per amber's suggestion i'm going to be trying to watch the mothman movie so i can know what he's based from but i know about the mothman i just haven't seen that movie so but apparently this one is based on the movie version so that's pretty cool but yeah he's got like this little strip here that kind of wigged me out a minute ago i was like is that meant to be like that or was that a defect? But I know it's on, it's on the other ear as well. Or well, the other one doesn't seem as prominent as that one. This one seems like it's a lot more visible than this one. I'm guessing it's just part of his design anyway. So he's really cute. His um, claws, just in case anyone was wondering, are not felt. They are a nice little fabric material. Very tickly, very cute. So yeah, that is everything for this unboxing. I've got another Build-A-Bear parcel on its way big one full of the christmas sanrios that video might actually be up before this one so um yeah that's on its way i'm gonna get that scene and i'm gonna unbox that pretty much as soon as i'm done with this one it'll be here in like the next half an hour so i'll be recording that one too so in this unboxing though i got my retro hello kitty my waffle kitty and i got the mothman so really happy with this order i did get some outfits for the christmas ones but they're not coming in this delivery that i'm expecting today they're gonna come another day so i guess i'll make another video dressing them up but yeah for this video this is all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed it like i said if you did like it please pop me down a like or a comment and if you are new here maybe give me a subscribe and i will see you again very soon see you soon bye <laughs>